We are back on Hollywood Today Live. Thank you for coming back. Uh, last week, the ladies kicked us out so they could get the latest from People Magazine. Well, this week, it's our turn. That's right. The newest issue hit stands tomorrow, and we've got the scoop from our favorite People Insider, Raha Lewis. Hey! Hey! I have to say really quickly, yes. Raha, I wore jewelry on my tie today because I know you're known for your necklaces and jewelry. We this got is for you. Memo. We got the memo. Thank you. You're welcome. I think it's my turn, actually, instead of being your guest. Oh. oh okay. Go for it. Okay. Take us away. Take us on a journey. <laughs> okay. So first up, uh, we have to talk about Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, the nursery is jungle theme. I think that's adorable. That's kind of hot. Uh, but also, you know, they've been seen out and about, and he is just doting on her when they go to restaurants. I think she had pasta recently with some salad at Georgia Baldi's. And he whoa, 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 wait. Whoa, she pasta had pasta and salad? And salad? <laughs> They're just like us. Oh, I love it. They're just and like us. And he actually oh, also had lobster pop tarts. Oh, yeah, that's weird. And s'more pizza. But that happens when you're pregnant, I guess. Lobster well, that happens when tarts. you're pregnant with Ashton Kutcher's baby. You can yeah. get lobster pop. <laughs> no, but also John Cryer made some really sweet comments like, he cannot wait. It's so sweet to see him so excited about Well, you know what I'm excited about? Yes. Beyonce. Oh, Let's God. talk about her. I know. Even more. Let's I talk about her. More. What do you know? Well, we know this. We know that their show, which was amazing. I know you were there. I was there so much PDA, and it was heartwarming. It was beautiful to see those pictures of the wedding, but there's insiders that are saying, look, there's been tension, and there's been it there for a long time. Okay, this so, makes me nervous now. It does a little bit, and, and look, nobody knows. At the end of the day, until announcement is going to be officially made, mm -hmm. nobody but Beyonce and Jay-Z know what's going to happen. Well, it's but, one thing to hear these things in tabloids, yeah. but once it makes people, then well, I start to swear. Well, you say the yeah. insiders The insiders are talking about this friction has been there a while. It has. Like, and this isn't just because of the tour. No, and you know, imagine that same drive that has given them the empire that they have is the same drive that's causing the undoing and bringing that stress. Okay, I'm going uh, to cry. I'm going to cry. I can't talk people, about that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does people have any idea about the scandal? Is this like a real? This is real. People are saying this, that the tension is real, that it's not made up for the concert. Right? The insiders have told us that there is tension and it has been there for quite some time. And that if they were to split, some of them would not be surprised. I need mm. contact information for these insiders. <laughs> <laughs> the insiders have said. Yeah. So let's go, let's go on to Wendy Williams. She just Wendy. turned 50. She, she looks great. Yeah. She does look great. And yeah. she really Ooh. opened up in such an amazing, honest way. And she was like, look, life before I turned 21 really was awful. And she said, I was fat shamed. And I was on, on a diet when I was in the first grade. Mm. And she said, that's when my body dysmorphia just started. And it's still there. Um, and then she talked about drug use when she was in college, but she did say, when I met my future husband, I was like, wait a minute, this is a blessing. I need to step up, put the drugs behind me, and just make a change for the better. And it was a man I that love did her. that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Mm. That's wonderful. And she couldn't be happier. Great. She's so happy. And she was like, I feel like I'm just getting started. Mm. That's I love I, it. I love it's it. awesome. So uh, the Emmys and Seth Meyers. Yes. Is he gonna knock this out of the park or what? Of course he is, yes. right? Yes, the answer is yes. He was like he was like, I don't my wife is really worried if I bomb because then we're gonna have a really bad time at the after party. But of course that's another joke <laughs> right. that he gets to make, which makes us all laugh. I think I cannot wait. Well we had I, I wanna get a quick prediction from you because we had Joe Morton from Scandal who played right. uh, Carrie Washington's <laughs> father. Carrie Washington also nominated. Will, will she be the first woman to win lead actor of African American woman? I hope I hope so. Yeah. I really, I mean, I can't speak for the Emmy people, yeah. but I can speak for myself and say forward? I hope so. Yeah, the insiders are, the insiders think it could happen. <laughs> the, insider, yeah. the insider in my head says yes. I need to get to know these insiders. <laughs> I need to hang out with them. Thank you so much, Raha. Thanks for hanging out with us. The new issue of People comes out tomorrow. Also in the magazine, exclusive photos of John F. Kennedy Jr. and his wife, Carolyn, 15 years after their tragic yeah. death. Make sure you check it out. That's right. Up next from Step Up All In and soon to be a gem of the holograms, Ryan Guzman is here in studio. Yeah. Don't miss the party right here on Hollywood Today Live. Come back. Come back.